Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning a Magazine. And this is the latest episode in what I'm playing, what's on my playlist, and a chance for you to put in the comments what you're playing wherever you are in the world. And the way that this has been going is that you've been inspiring me to find things and listen to things I've forgotten I've got, or go out and search for and stream to see what I think of it and then eventually buy. And it's been great to see everyone's list of what you're playing. Some of you play a hell of a lot of music and I really need to up my game at how much I play here as well. So this is a quick overview of what's on my record deck and what's in my CD machine because we are multi-format here at Now Spinning Magazine. So all formats are welcome. Formats, formats even. Um, the first thing I've been playing uh, and uh, I'm still absorbing it so I can't give enough feedback yet is Greetings from Planet Love by Andrew Gold. Um, this is out on Esoteric Recordings, which is a, re, a reissue. Um, so I'm giving that a spin. I'm also immersing myself um, in a band that's from a long time ago, which I missed out first time round, because I was actually too young, strange to believe. There's a band called Freedom. Uh, they were on a Probe Records sampler with a big spider on the front. Um, I can't remember what that was called at the moment, but I'm going to be looking at that sampler in one of my sampler videos. Um, this is Freedom Born Again. It's a five CD box set um, on Grapefruit Records um, from Cherry Red. It's got a great booklet in it, so I've got that to explore. I'm looking forward to. The next two I've started to explore, which is Little Feet and Sailing Shoes and Dixie Chicken. These are the two CD um, remasters. The sound is probably the best these albums have ever sounded like. Um, and there's lots of outtakes and stuff and live con two live concerts. Um, but people are already raving about these. But I'll, I'll do a full review and I'll go through the booklets as well. Um, but I only have Waiting for Columbus. I'm being honest here. If you think, I think my shelves are full of Little Feet albums, they're not. I bought the Waiting for Columbus box set, which I reviewed. Really enjoyed it. And now these... Um, releases are giving me a chance to explore the back the rest of their catalogue so I'm really enjoying those I'm also listening to a bit of jazz I've got quite a big jazz box set on its way which I'll uh, I'll tell you what that is at another time but I've been listening to John Coltrane and especially this album ballads it's just fantastic it's the, some of the melodies and the tunes this is very accessible jazz but it's just beautiful jazz um, I've had this album for a while and um, it's the John Coltrane Quartet and it's called Ballads and it, it, it's really, really cool. Uh, box set, uh, the box set that's been getting most of my attention, I've covered on this channel before and it's a giant black box. You can just about make out what it is. It's Manfred Mann, the 40th anniversary box set. I've just, I've just interviewed Manfred Mann for the now, now Spinning Magazine podcast. I've just interviewed him. It's an over an hour long interview. Absolutely marvellous guy. Um, it's fantastic answer to questions, wonderful stories. But it really has made me dive into his back catalogue. Um, I, I can't really say what, what I've played the most. I've been playing Mask, um, which is a later album when he covered more of the Planet Suite, which of course he, he touched on with Joybringer. Um, I've also been playing um, The Good Earth quite a lot. And the one that her, he personally likes a lot is Plains Music. been playing that. And what's the other one I've been playing? Corsella Fire. But actually also um, elsewhere in Af Africa. Great stuff. So that's been, that's been what's been going on on my CD player. Vinyl-wise, I've been going back in time. And probably because I was playing Landscape, um, which is a, a box set of like Euro synth stuff and wonderful music. It made me go back to Tangerine Dream and this one from 1975 Rubicon, just two, just two tracks. And um, I think it is, um, <laughs> but they both got distinct, very ethereal um, starts and finishes to these records. They remind me of me hitchhiking to Newquay in Cornwall when I was when I was young and, and having it on my Walkman and it just went in with the the landscape of the you know and the walking along the beach on my own in the morning. Um, this is still my favourite Tangerine Dream album of all time. Uh, it just is. I just think it's marvellous. And of course, in the the, uh, the box set that came out, the CD box set, there's a 5.1 mix of part of this. 
But I, I just think it's, this to me is just genius. It really, really is. The other two are more rock centric. After being with Pete Pardo on the Sea of Tranquility, where we looked at diff our, our views of different guitar players, songs that define them, and we both picked the same song for Eddie Van Halen, and it was uh, Mean Street from Fair Warning. This to me is an absolutely complete Van Halen album. It hasn't got the kind of lightness, partiness of like, um, you know, the first two. There's a kind of a, a kind of California party, you know, nothing's that a bit more shallow, you know, fun stuff. But this is darker. It's it's like as if they've really toned it down. David Lee Roth has kind of reined in some of his kind of ad libs and stuff. But particularly on Main Street, it's got everything. It's got the riff, the solos, the technique and the control at the end of that song. As I mentioned on Sea of Tranquility, when it goes into that kind of less one note riff and the guitars kind of just move around it, when he could have just filled that space with a million notes, but he didn't. And I think that then, in you know, Out of Out the Door, that's outside too, which goes out Sunday afternoon in the bar. It's really weird and the guitar solo is just wild. That solo all reminded me a little bit of um, Black Moz off A200 for some reason, the way it goes out over that. But obviously Unchained and the guitar riffs, everything, everything about that. In fact, I think it doesn't mind, sorry, excuse the noise. I've just suddenly thought of something. Um, didn't I, I can't sure if mine came with a certificate or something. Yeah, it did. It came with this, mine did. Um, and it said, in honour of having witnessed the onslaught of over 700,000 watts of light, 400 watts of sound and over 220,000 man miles travelled, carrying over 50 tonnes of equipment, Van Halen takes the pride in decorating, this is why I put my name in here, with this document that testified, I have survived. I've survived the 70s to become a true rock and roller. Van Halen have said, said there, that I, me, Phil, I survived the 70s to become a true rock and roller and a member of good standing in the 1981 Van Halen fan club. Thanks, guys. Means a lot. Really does. But yeah, it's a great album. Great album. Did it come in with it yet? It's got some, some pickies and stuff in it of the band. And again, that, the graffiti on the side. And somebody said, fair warning, Lord will strike that poor boy down. Turned from hunter into, sorry, <laughs> turned from hunter into hunter, went to hunt somebody down. Great stuff. And finally, um, the other record that's been on my deck one of my favourites. Deep purple. Who else? And perpendicular. Oh, I'm going to do a video on this one. I've got so many different things from this tour. So the tour, lots of memorabilia and stuff. Oh, but what an album. What an album after the doldrums of what was going on. Um, they come back with such power and variety. Like a box of chocolates with everything you'd possibly want in it. Uh, you know, the Aviator, who would have thought Deep Purple did that? And the, the sound, how loud in the mix John Lord was. Those, you know, those kind of battles, not battles, but dances with Steve Morse. Uh, oh, the instrumental stuff. Some, and then sometimes I feel like screaming. What a song. What a song, Loosen My Strings, Cascades, I'm Not Your Lover Now, uh, Cast Full of Rascals, oh God, you know, Rosa's Cantina. What an album. What an album, 1996. Oh, it's just, I, I just love this. I just enjoy playing it so much. Anyway, that's enough of me. But that's what I'm playing here. That's what's going on in Now Spinning Magazine Towers this week. Here we are in July with the sun blaring in outside. And I'm hoping you manage to stay cool where you are because it's pretty balmy outside at the moment. But thank you for watching. Oops. <laughs> I was going to do the Black Sabbath trick again then. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. And it really is the perfect medicine for these troubled times. Please subscribe. 
And if you want to become a patron and subscribe, and you get to see all these videos for anyone else, and it really helps me do more of this. So, take care, everyone, and I shall see you on my next video.